terrifying folklore creatures from around the world. Ah. Originating in Southeast Asia, the Krasu is a malevolent female spirit that will truly make you brown your britches something awful. It is described as the floating disembodied head of a young, beautiful woman which isn't so bad until you glance down at her iconic trailing organs. A heart, some lungs, a stomach, a liver, intestines, and the rest. All just out in the open ready to give you a sloppy slap at a moment's notice. The Krasu is believed to be the result of a curse cast upon a young woman who committed horrific atrocities such as infidelity or murder. During the day, a Krasu can walk among humans undetected, appearing as a normal woman, though looking extra super seepy. At night, the Krasu finds a secluded area to detach from her body and fly off into the darkness to feast. They are said to feed on the blood of animals like cows or roadkill, but have a strong appetite for the blood of children or, even better, pregnant women since it's a two-for-one special. After feeding, the Krasu returns to its body before the sun rises to live another day. But fear not, it's pretty easy to protect yourself from them because they aren't exactly invincible. For one, the body that the Krasu leaves behind is what ties it to the world, so if you hide or otherwise destroy it, then the Krasu has nowhere to park its head, leaving it to die an agonizing death once the sun comes up. Another way to go about it is to target the Krasu itself, specifically its dangling intestines, since that's its weak point. If you put up some spiky fences or plants around, the spirit's floppy bits can get entangled, preventing it from being able to return to its body. Or, if you're a Deadeye, you can give them a cinematic send-off. If you ever cross paths with one of these bad boys, consider yourself boned. A Gashidokuro is an evil spirit from Japanese folklore that manifests itself as a skeleton a 30-foot tall skeleton. It is said to be composed of hundreds of corpses of fallen, forgotten soldiers who have never received their last rites after dying on the battlefield. The residual anger and hatred towards the living fuels this giant rattling rascal to terrorize the countryside in the dead of night. Even though this fella is absolutely huge, the corpse can travel quite quietly and remain undetected. Any humans unlucky enough to cross its path will be crushed and eaten, though if you lack the situational awareness of a 30-foot skeleton approaching you, then it's just natural selection. Unfortunately, it is said that the monster is too large and too powerful to defeat and will only come to rest once it has released all of its manifested anger through sheer destruction. But I imagine if you were well equipped with a comically large hammer and took a good thwack at an ankle, you can do some damage. The Naklavi is a horse-like demon with origins tied to the Orkney Islands north of Scotland, and is considered to be one of the most evil and most feared spirits in the native folklore. This demonic spirit takes the form of a man mounted on and fused to a horse. Oh yeah, and it has no skin. The humanoid part of the monster possesses a huge head with an incredibly large mouth and a single red eye burning with a red flame. He also has long, ape-like arms that hang at his side. Trust me, if I was actually good at drawing, this would be grade A nightmare fuel. Although the Naklavi is said to be a malevolent water spirit originating from the sea, it spends its time wandering the land, spreading plague and disease across crops, livestock, and humans. So anytime that there were problems with crops or natural disasters or anything like that, the Naklavi was to blame. Dad, I'm... I'm so hungry. I know, son, but that goddamn Naklavi gun done rotted all our food. Fuck you, Naklave! Being a being of pure, unfiltered evil, the Naklave cannot be outright defeated, though it is said that it can't cross bodies of fresh water, so like, find a creek or something and hop over it. Also, I mean, it has no skin, so I don't know, throw some salt and lemon juice at it? That'll probably do the trick. Next, we take a vacation down to the Caribbean with the Sukuyon, an evil spirit, all these monsters are evil by the way in case you couldn't tell, that disguises itself as a reclusive old woman during the day, but oh boy once that sun sets, all hats are off. And so is the Sukuyon's skin. She tosses away her mortal flesh jacket and turns into a fireball, taking off into the night sky to stalk her prey. Oh, you think you're safe indoors? No, 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 see, the Sukuyon can fit through anything to get into your house. A crack in the door, a crack in the floor. She can even get in through your windows and more. But what does a Sukuyon do? She may drink your blood or try to turn you. And if she has her way, there's no chance you can win, for the Sukuyon might just end up wearing your skin. 
but a way to defeat her would serve you quite nice, so distract her using a handful of rice. Throw it on the ground, then turn and flee. For each grain, she must count carefully. Locate her old skin and cover it with salt. Now her evil deeds have come to a halt. If these rhymes gave you a good vibe, always remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Stemming from Central American folklore, the Siwanaba is an absolute babe. She's described as a stunningly attractive, long-haired woman. She is usually seen wearing thin, see-through clothing, which <laughs> I guess I can't complain too much. You might find her alone at night around water sources such as a river or a lake, usually washing clothes or bathing. Well, being the big macho macho man you are, you're not going to let this opportunity pass you by, so you puff out your chest and make your move. Excuse me, babe, I, I couldn't help but notice you washing your clothes in a very secluded part of the river alone on this eerie moonless night. Can I uh, be of assistance, my lady? Damn, babe, I'm gonna have to break out the special equipment. There you go, that'll work. Although the Siwanaba do be looking good from behind, it possesses a demonic horse face, which is a deal breaker to most men. Those unfortunate enough to cross its path are often driven mad by its shocking appearance or instantly die of fear when her face is revealed. But if you ever find yourself in the presence of what you think is a Siwanaba, you may banish it by making the sign of the cross with your fingers. And if that doesn't work, she might not be a Siwanaba at all, in which case, just tell her you're not really all that interested. Now this one is the stuff of nightmares. Literal nightmares. An op is the OG sleep paralysis demon. They are described as small elf-like demons from Germanic folklore that climb into your room at night and sit on your chest as you sleep. These little bastards just stay perched up on your sternum, restricting your breathing and not allowing you to move or wake up, causing terrifying nightmares. Talk about sleep apnea. Alpen apparently have the ability to shapeshift into multiple animals such as a cat, a dog, a pig, or even a snake. So the next time you wake up with your cat on your face, it might just be a small demon. The way you can tell an alp apart from your pet is its stupid looking hat. This is called a tarn cap, which grants the demon powers including the ability to become invisible when worn. But don't worry, you can get rid of these little annoying buggers with some simple tricks which include sticking a broomstick under your pillow, hanging iron horseshoes on your bedpost, placing your shoes against your bed with the toes pointing toward your door, placing a mirror on your chest, hanging steel crosses around the room. You can also bargain with the Alp, asking it to come back in the morning for coffee. It will scurry away and return in the morning to claim its prize. Take this opportunity to cave its frontal lobe in with a solid oak plank. <laughs> Problem solved. Back to bed. <laughs> so, there you have it. A bunch of spooky things from around the world. Do they really exist? Of course not. That would just be silly. What's not silly is checking out this video. Or really any of my content if you want. I'll see you over there. <laughs>